And so how do you guys, how are you guys defining Series A now, or how are you finding that the market is defining Series A? Yeah. Man, that's a constant conversation. I think <laughs> the world has changed so much. I don't even know if I bother to call anything anything. Um, I have a company, I seated, which has not raised its <clears throat> Series A yet, but currently has a bid for $20 million to be provided to them on a valuation that's quite compelling. Um, it's like, wow, well, we're still not out of seed. <laughs> um, you know, I had one entrepreneur who I funded who had an exit that raised a $13 million seed. But the flip side is I've seen $4 million Series A's. So it's, we're in a really interesting time where I don't think the labels mean anything anymore. Hmm. Um, my primary interest in thinking about what Series A used to be mm -hmm. is sort of what's the first tranche of classic institutional capital? Hmm. Now, there's an interesting reality happening right now, which is a lot of the seed investors I used to parallel, uh, who I respect and I think do a really great job of seed, have now started to very aggressively come into the Series A segment hmm. and blatantly bid against us for deals or just keep them from ever going out. Uh, and I understand they're raising more money and they need to deploy it and they need to show a return, but it is blurring the lines tremendously because hmm. then it also changes the thought of well, what is an institutional investor? What hmm. is a venture investor? What is a Series A investor? People used to worry about if they had a classic venture firm and if that created signal. Well, now classic seed firms are doing their own A's. So it's not going to be that long before everybody just understands their institutions too in the same way. And if they're not doing the round, maybe there's signal there as well. So I think the whole thing, seed, A, all these rounds, they're all getting changed and mushed together. I would think of it more about where is the company. Hmm. To me, seed mm -hmm. is when you have an idea possibly a prototype or some early, early traction, uh, a live website, an early app, and you need to now go out and prove a thesis. That to me is what Seed's about, proving thesis. Mm -hmm. Series A is when the thesis been, has been proven, you've found product market fit, and there's some level of momentum. I think most of the best investors in the world, while they're not all obsessed only with momentum, they are post-momentum investors. When there's enough evidence that this makes sense, that they can really go in with both fuel on the fire, you know, help with the management team, just the things that having watched this movie so many times and even having been an operator for so long, you can really add value. So I think it's more about where the company is in its formation, mm -hmm. its proof of thesis, and then its post-momentum chunk that defines where seed versus A is, irregardless of the amount. 